Hey everyone, it's ACTV. Today, I'm answering a few questions from a comment that was posted a little while ago uh, pertaining to why your Ghoul RC brushless motor, Ghoul RC ESC, uh, will not work with a programming card and will not actually even connect to your controller. And I'm using all Ghoul RC products here so we should not have a problem the first thing I want to tell you guys to do is set your remote up okay this thing's really weird and quirky but I just want you to try what I'm telling you to try because it may work for you first thing on a remote on the very top you have your ST and your throttle slide buttons all right I know this sounds weird but for some reason I have to put mine on R both of them okay Set your throttle limit on low for now. Most of the time, sometimes you got to set it all the way on 100%. But just set it on low. Try that. All right. Now, I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. Hopefully, it won't make me into a liar. But this is, uh, real quick, guys, this is a 9200E. I just did some upgrades to it. Um, little weight to keep the front end down little willy bar uh, I sprayed the um, the shell with um, a product that me and my brother-in-law have it's called vortex and man it's amazing stuff's like indestructible uh, I'm gonna start selling these guys so if you guys like these shells um, please let me know but this thing you could jump on it step on it run it over it and it just goes back to its original form pretty cool anyways the video is not about that stop waffling as Kevin would say anyways uh, so here's what we have turn this thing on you get the rapid beep right everybody's getting this rapid beep nobody understands what's going on how to get this connected apparently over 80 some views and everyone's saying they have the same problem so real quick um, I turn the remote, the remote's on, do you hear it? Everybody's getting this beeping, right? This obnoxious, fast red beep. Real quick. The settings are all where I told you up here. Adjust all these to the center position. There you have it. Oop. That could have been bad. There's your forward. There's your reverse. Steering. Now, because you set your steering at, at, at center, your steering is not going to be right. So you're going to want to adjust it a little bit. Okay. Make sure you're not hitting on the survey there. I'm still hitting a little bit. Back it off. Pretty good. But yeah. Also, one other thing. You guys probably aren't going to like this. For whatever reason, and maybe I'm just, I don't know enough. <laughs> But for every reason, this car will not run on a 2S LiPo. It will not run with this brushless Gore C motor and this brushless ESC. It just, it glitches out, doesn't have enough power. I'm not sure what the hell the problem is. Part of my French guys. Um, but I did change this out to an IC5 connector on both the ESC and the battery. And I'm using just like a cheap Yumi um, 3, 3, uh, 3S LiPo. It's just a 33 milliamp 50C but uh, 3300 milliamp um, works well guys this car runs it, it, it's so fast you can't even like keep it on the road but I know you guys wanted to figure out exactly how to uh, get this Gore C remote in, or Gore C remote and brushless motor and ESC working so hopefully this helped and uh, you guys won't be pulling your hair out like I did for uh, <laughs> a week trying to figure it out uh, like and subscribe love you guys for all your support ACTV over and out.